Y'all got any questions? Y'all got some questions? You take any questions? What kind of irrigation of the mic is that we're bringing up We are here teaching that the black, the Hispanic, and the Native American Indians are the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. That's what we are here teaching. Right. That's what we're here to teach. We are here to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel and bring them back to their nationality. Watch this. Give me Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 14. Somebody give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Watch this. Okay, Jeremiah. Then somebody give me Ezekiel chapter 20 verse verse 2. Watch it. You said Jeremiah 17 4. Watch it. Hold on, hold on. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thyself. So this Jeremiah, he said, Thou, even thyself, right? Shall discontinue from thine heritage. That's what we are here to do. Because what we call African American, Negro, we call Puerto Rican. We out of our real biblical name. Why? Because we lost our identity. We lost our heritage. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage Read on. that I gave thee. Uh huh. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. So what we did when we got out those slaves, is we did what? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. That's how we lost our heritage. Because what were they doing? They was beating the slaves, telling them, your name ain't Kenta, your name ain't Toby, it's Kenta Toby. They took our name, our hair, whatever, it doesn't matter. They know what I'm saying. Watch it. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies mm -hmm. in the land which thou knowest not. Ain't that what we're doing? We in the land that we know it's not. We in America. This is not our original homeland. We lost our identity. We lost our culture. We lost our heritage, yeah, no, right? Because we are here. Give me do the right of the 28 Let me ask you something. Go ahead. So why did it take you to the to gather all these lost 12? Right. And bring them in Israel? Somebody give me a, uh, give me that in uh, the line. 30. 30 and start at verse 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 1 and it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee mm -hmm. the, the blessing and the curse right because we were about to go into the curse but that's how we lost our identity because we are cursed people God put us under curse because we, we broke his command that's how we got put in slavery we got put in slavery by the most high God so our disobedience right read Back where I was at. No, and, at. And the curse which I have said before thee, uh -huh. and thou shalt come, and thou shalt call them to mind amongst the nations. We're gonna call all these things to mind amongst who? Amongst the nations. Amongst all nations. Right? Because at the end, in all, they don't know that we are the true Israelites. We the true Hebrews. We God's chosen people, brother. Right? Read. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, right. whether the Lord thy God have driven thee. Right. Because we scattered across the four corners of the earth. Read. And it's, as shall return unto the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. and shall obey his voice. That's what we are here to do. We are here to restore the twelve tribes back to God. Right. Right. Read. According to all that I have commanded thee this day, mm -hmm. that thou and thy children, with all thy heart and with all thy soul, mm -hmm. that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. Right. After we come back, he's going to do what? Turn thy captivity Three. and have compassion upon thee. Uh-huh. And will return and gather thee. He's going to do what? Return and gather thee. When Christ come back, he's going to return and gather us. Right. Three. From all the nations whither the Lord thy God has scattered thee. He's going to come and gather us and put us back in the room. Right where we step. Yes. I understand. I understand. But I see that you guys, you have the New Testament here, right? Yeah, we got the New Testament. What scripture do you want us to go to? Uh, there's a scripture that said uh, that the uh, sons of Abraham are not the one that are come from Abraham. They are the, the one who... Romans 9. Romans 12, if I'm not mistaken. Read Romans 12 and you read Romans 10. Watch it. Read Romans 10. Read what he got. Watch it. 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 Read what he
Romans 4. Romans 4. Uh, Romans no, 4. When you want him to read something out of Romans 4. No, he wants you to read the scripture out of Romans 12. But I'm going to put that his scripture with that. And he said, probably if we not just see the Abel, we all just see the Abel. Yes, I'm not talking about that too. Right. So, you know, Abraham had, he the father of many nations, right? Yes. He the father, he the father of all nations, right? Of many nations. He the father of the Edomite. He the father of the Israelite, he the father of the Ishmaelite, right? Right? He the, he's the father of many nations, right? All right, let's read Romans 9, explain what he's talking about. Hold on, no, no, let him find his scripture. Somebody find that scripture, baby. I already know it. You be circumcised, you be all here. We get it Romans 9, uh, let's see, 7 and 8. Romans 9, that's what we were doing. All right, let's start up a little bit. Romans 9, start at verse 2. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 2. That I have great heaviness and continual, continual sorrow in my heart. Mm -hmm. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ mm -hmm. for my brethren. For who? My brethren. So you notice Paul, right? He said he wished he can be the curse for his brother. What is your brother? That's a, like your relative, right? Read. My kinsman. My what? My kinsman. What's your kinsman? That's your relative, right? So Paul relating to his family, right? Read. According to the flesh. According to what? According, According to, to the, the flesh. flesh. According to what? According, According to the flesh. flesh. According to the flesh, right? Read. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Israelites. Who is Paul's family? Who, Isra who are Israelites? Read on. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Who pertaineth what? To who pertaineth the adoption? We've been adopted from the from the, from the Most High back to Christ. I mean, from Christ to the Most High, right? Read. And the glory. And the glory. And the covenant. Hold on, what's the glory? The glory is the kingdom of heaven. And the covenant, right? Who got the who was given the covenant? Israel first. Right. Who is who? And then Jesus gave the new covenant. Watch this. Let's see who the new covenant is from. Hebrew? This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. Read. New Testament, New Covenant. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, uh -huh. he saith, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, uh -huh. when I will make a new covenant. That's what you're talking about, right? The old covenant was for the Israelites, but now he's making a new covenant. Let's see who it's for. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. With the house of who? The house of Israel. Israel. New covenant, folks. The house, house of, of Israel. Israel. Read on. And with the house of Judah. Uh huh. Read on. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers. That's the old covenant. The new covenant. Read. In the day where I took them by the hand mm -hmm. and led them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. because they continue not in my covenant, right. and I regarded them not, save the Lord. Right, right there. So the new covenant is for the house of Israel, right? So let's go back to Romans. Read where you got covenant. To whom pertain of the adoption uh -huh. and the glory, the glory and the covenant uh -huh. and the giving of the law that was given of the law read. and the service of God and the service of God and the promises. You believe in the Bible, right? Uh, I believe in this word. Yes. You believe what the Bible say, right? Yes. Please. Okay, I just want to make sure because a lot of people they believe in the Bible until the Bible comes out. Oh, I'm a believer. I believe the Bible, but when it comes out. They, it's a different story. They don't believe no more. So we said, we just showed you the new covenant and the old covenant for the Israelites, right? You believe it, right? So, you believe in the scripture, right? Yes. Oh, the new so, covenant is for, for all believers. So, Let's go back to it. Read it again. Read it again. Let's see who the new covenant for. Let us read it again. Because we got to we gotta believe in the Bible. Because the Bible tell us not to. Give me, give me Proverbs 3 Hebrew, and 5. Hebrew, Hebrew, let me read it to you. Okay, Hebrew, go ahead. Hebrew. Why do you read it? 
I'm going to show you what this is. Read. 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 Yeah, watch this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord. So the Bible says, trust in the Lord, right? With all thine heart. Uh huh. And lean not. And do what? And lean not. And do what? And lean not. And lean not what? Unto thine own understanding. So you can't lean on to your own understanding. Amen. You got to lean on to what the Bible Amen. says. So now let's go back to the new covenant. Read. Is the book of, we'll get to that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days cometh, saith the Lord, uh -huh. when I will make a new covenant. You make a new covenant. With the house of Israel. Who? The, the house, house of, of Israel. Israel. The new covenant, folks. The, the house, house of Israel. Israel. You agree with the text, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Right? Read on. And with the house of Judah. Right. So that's who the new okay, covenant is. Okay, let's go back in Rome. Okay, we're going right. back to Rome. So let's go back to Rome. Just, I want to hear it. I just want to hear it. Yeah. Hold on. The, the, I'm gonna, let me explain you to it. The, it. the house of Israel is the northern kingdom. The house of Judah is the southern king. Right? So so they, right. They, 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 they won, but in the end, they will be one nation, one state. Now let's read back and forth. Watch this. Who are Israelites uh -huh. to whom pertaineth the adoption uh -huh. and the glory uh -huh. and the covenant uh -huh. and the giving of the law uh -huh. and the service of God? Pay attention, brother. Pay attention. He said the new covenant, right? And the giving of the law, uh -huh. and the service of God, uh -huh. and the promises. And the promises, read. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. Okay, now we're going to get into your Abraham. Go. Whoever, uh, Shalaki, who is over all, God blessed over forever. Amen. Okay. Not as though the word of God has taken none effect. Right. Because look, anybody can say anything they want about the Bible. Whatever you say, it ain't going to take no effect. Whatever you think, the prophecies of the Bible still going to come to pass. No matter what you think or how you feel. Right? Yeah, Read. This word is going to make this going Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's finish this off. For they are not all Israel. They say they are all not Israel. Which are of Israel. Read. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham. Because they what? Neither are because the seed, they are the seed of Abraham. That's what you were saying, right? The seed of Abraham, right? Many nations come out of Abraham, right? Read. Are they all children? He said, that's because you come out of the seed of Abraham, you're not all children. He going to explain what he means. You're not all children. Read. But in Isaac. But in who? But, but in, in Isaac, Isaac. But in Abraham and Isaac. Read. Shall thy seed be called. Shall your seed be called. It's a lineage. Abraham, Isaac. Read. That is, that they which are the children of the flesh. If you didn't come from, if, if you were a child of Abraham and you didn't come from Isaac, you considered the children of the flesh, right? Because Abraham and Isaac, they got the seed. The seed line go to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. He, he hold on, hold on. Let me finish this yeah, off. I, I, I Go ahead. These are not the children of God. These are what? These, These are, are not, not the children, children of God. God. If you don't come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you what? These, These are, are not, not the, the children, children of God. God. You agree with the text, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have right. to look all the context. Right. Keep right. 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 reading. Right. Right. But the children of the promise. But the children of the promise I mean. are counted for the seed. It's counted by the seed line. Right, read. For this is the word of promise. This is the word of promise, read. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. Sarah going to have a son, right? And not only this. Not only this. But when Rebecca also had conceived by one. Right. Even by our father Isaac. Read. For the children being not yet born. Right. The kids not even born yet. And God already made his decision. He made his decision from the beginning. He declared the end in the beginning, right? He already made up his mind, read. Neither having done any good. They ain't did no good or nothing bad. They ain't even born, right, read. Or evil that the purpose of God according to election. According to election. Might according stand. To seed, what? Might stand. Read. Not of works, but of him that calleth. Read. It was said unto her. Uh -huh. The elder shall serve the younger. Read. As it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau I have hated. This is the point I'm trying to get to, Read. What y'all gonna say now? 
Because, because the, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Jesus. Give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah. Not Isaiah. Not Isaiah. Would y'all say not? Is that unrighteousness with God because He chose Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Why? God forbid. No, it's not. Right? Read. For he saith to Moses, he said to Moses what? I will have mercy on whom mercy. I will have mercy. Read on. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So said, I can choose who I want. Does I can his do what I want. sound merciful? Give me that. I he everything we do, everything we do, everything we do, we come out the Bible. So me and you having a conversation, I'm speaking loud. So everybody can hear. That's what yeah, Christ that's is what doing. I, that's what I see. Christ that's is what I see. talking so everybody can hear what he's saying. Watch this. Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah. But this brother in the back, he's trying to hear what I'm saying. He might be convicted of what I'm saying. Hey. Right? Same Read. Same Read. Same this is the book of Isaiah, <laughs> chapter 58. <laughs> And verse one, right, read. cry aloud. So the Bible say what? Cry aloud. Do what? Cry. Spare not. So the Bible say cry out loud and don't spare nobody feelings. Read. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Do what? Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. What you think I'm over here doing? I'm talking loud. Okay? Ain't that what Christ is doing? He was talking loud so everybody can hear. The Bible says, what, what, what's like a trumpet? This is loud. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, read. Right? And show my people, show, who? show my people uh -huh. their transgression. Uh -huh. And the house of Jacob, their sins. Right. I'm not angry, but I'm just speaking loud so everybody that so, wanted so to hear. So what's ultimately your message? Like, a, it's just I to told, the Jews? I told you. Can we just open up a new and living way? That exists? Give me the script. First John 5, 1 John 5.1. Read. But uh, I don't, we don't want to have it. Yeah, we don't want to have it. Thank you. Because, uh, we, Thank we you. If you have that, uh, that's uh, okay. Go ahead. I got it. The book of First John, chapter five, verse one. Give me Matthew twenty-four. Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone that loveth Him that begat loveth Him also that is begotten of Him. So who? Who is the audience that he's speaking to right here? Whosoever believes. No, who? You got to understand. The Bible is wrote, written in context. It's a speaker and it's an audience. No, 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 if I'm sitting in my house and say, whosoever want to drink of water, if I'm Jesus. talking to the people next door. That's I'm, a, I'm from, project. I'm born in Transylvania. That's in who the, that's in who the whosoever, whosoever believes in Jesus Christ, that's the Son of God. Oh, I got it, I got it. Why this? People are born in Africa. People are born in Australia. They believe in Jesus Christ. What was that? We're not taking salvation. We're not, ta we're not saying people are not going to be in the kingdom. We're not saying that. So oh. Everybody get everything misconstrued. Y'all taking it. We just, okay. Then we just break it down for you, brother. We explained it to this brother, too. Right? Everybody going to be there, but it's going to be a ruling class. In America, is it a ruling class here in America? Do the government tell you what to do? Do the police tell you what to do? If you breaking the laws, what's gonna happen? You gonna go to jail. God got laws in the kingdom of heaven. There's gonna be laws. Who gonna be? Who gonna be enforcing those laws? The children of Israel gonna be enforcing those laws, making sure you do what you're supposed to be. Because man, on the earth, well, this is the book of Acts, chapter two and fourteen, and then I'm jumping to verse twenty-one. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice. And said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, so be this known unto you. The audience who they talking to. Right? Yeah, Read. Yeah, Peter Her, in the beginning. Hold on, here verse, we go. Verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever. That's what you said. Whosoever. Shall call on the name of the Lord uh -huh. shall be saved. Whosoever call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Who? Oh. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel. Who? Ye men of Israel. Who? Ye men of Israel. Who is that whosoever? Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. That's who the whosoever in that context is talking about. Okay, God bless you. Stay in your right. in your faith and right. make. You know how Jesus said? Brother, we coming out of the Bible. We, look, we come out of the scripture, brother. Says, we told somebody give me uh second Andrews chapter 14, verse 32. Can, can you read one more, just one more scripture? Colossians 3.11. Give me, give me, give me Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. So everybody look, everybody go to Paul writings and they're not understanding what he's writing. Everybody that's a Christian, a Jehovah witness, a Muslim, a Baptist, 
They go straight to Paul Wright. Let's get what Christ said, Matthew 24, verse 15. Let's see what Christ had to say. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 15. You believe what Christ's words, right? Let's see what he said. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. <laughs> you said 24, 15? 15, 24. Oh, 15 and 24. Watch it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Let's see what Christ said. But he answered and said. So he answered and said to this woman, right? I am not sent. I am not what? I am not sent. I'm what? I am, I am not sent, sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who was Christ sent to? For Israel, for the lost sheep of Israel. Amen. Right. And then John 1 9 is the light that enlightens everyone that comes into the world. Okay. We're going to do what? John 1 9. Read John 1 9. John 1 9. John 1 9. Read Isaiah 118. Read Isaiah 118. We don't run from scriptures. We're going to run to it. We're going to give you the proper understanding, the proper context of the scripture. We're not running from nothing. John 119. Let's see John 119. All right. Y'all got to understand. First, give me Psalms. First, give me Psalms 147, verse 19 and 20. And then somebody give me Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 15. Let's let's see. We're going to go there. We're going to go there. We're not running from your scriptures. But you got to re remember, everything is done in a certain period of time in a certain context, right? The Gospel of John 1, 9. Let's yes. do it. Let's do it. Let's read that song. Go ahead. John, right? Do God ever change his mind? Gospel of John. Do God ever change his mind? Alpha and Omega. Hold on. Do God ever change his mind? In uh, Malachi, what he say? I change not. I don't change my mind. Jesus Christ said, I'm the same today, tomorrow, and forever. Let's see, did this change? Read. Psalms 147. Verse 19. Book of Psalms 147, verse 19. Read. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto who? Unto Jacob. Read. Unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto who? Unto Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh huh. He hath not dealt so. He hath not what? Has not dealt so. He hath not what? Has not, not dealt so. With who? With any. Nation, you agree with the text, right? Amen. Now give me Isaiah 30 and, and 15. I can't really We're gonna read scripture. yours. We're gonna read oh. yours because we know God ain't saying right here. God said He ain't dealing with nobody else, right? Sorry. No oh. other nation. Watch this. Says verse 15. Yeah. Says the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 15. For thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved. Right now, go to 40 and 15. Well, sir, if I got my read the scripture, read the scripture, John 9. Read the scripture first. John 9 and 1, read. No, 1 and 9. 1 and 9 and Galatians 3, 28, 29. Let's go to Galatians 3, 28. Let's do it like we showed this, brother. Read what he said, John 9, 9, what you say, 9 and 1? 1 and 9. Gospel of John 1, 9. Read that, brother. This is the Gospel of John, chapter 1 and verse 9. I'm going to read 9 and 10. Okay. This was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Who's the world? The whole world, the cosmos. This right. is the book, the same Gospel of John, chapter 18 and verse 20. Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. Uh -huh. right? You speak it to the world. Same I have God. ever taught in the synagogues and in the temple whether the Jews always resort in secret, I have said nothing. So who's the world? The world is the whole world. Read I read John it again. 1, 1 I speak openly to the world. Sir. I have ever taught in the synagogue. Who is the world that Jesus read John 1, and two. 1 and 2? We're reading the same Messiah. Well, John 2, 18, right? So we're talking about the world. So the world, if you see that, if you think the world is only here, it's good for you. What's the Greek word for world? The Greek world? It's cosmos. Cosmos. What does cosmos mean? Cosmos means the whole universe. No. It means yeah. an organi of organized life. Who's the organized life in the heavens? According to Genesis. We'll read it. Well, if you want to twist it, you can twist it. You say the whole world a is cosmos. here. cosmos. It's be. life in the heavens. I believe that the whole world reach on one, one and two, sir. So you understand who's cosmos. Who's, who's the Messiah saying in John 18? The same book. I didn't read the book. I went to the 18th verse. So why don't you read John 1, 1 and 2 in the same book? I read both for you. Well, it speaks about how we'll I read it. Again. We'll read John it again. 1, 1, 2, and 3. We'll read so you we'll see read what the world is. It's everything. 
he, he the hold Messiah. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. Let's see what he's talking about the world. Yeah, Let's one, get the one, proper conversation. Con the Bible, look, one, one, you one, you doing your definition of what the world says. No, let's say what the Bible say what the world is. Hold on, let's see. John one one. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna see what the world is. Hebrews gonna tell you what the world world is. Go ahead. The book of Hebrews, chapter one. God, who at sundry times and in divers manners mm -hmm. spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, uh -huh. hath in these last days spoken unto us. By his son, Amen. whom he has appointed, and he has appointed heir of all things, of all things, by whom he also made, he made what? The world. Spell that word, world. W O R L D S. It's an S. It's more than one world. Absolutely. You said world, it just means this. Why wow, he's saying it's more than one world? That's possible. I, I got it. Read, read it again. Actually, in context, that's read speaking it. of ages. Yeah. Reading, yeah. that's not talking about yeah. planets. Well, I, I, it's talking it's about not, but I know it's not talking about planets. It's like, it's like it. what's the word? What the, what's the definition of the word world? Right. Okay. All right. Well, well, what's the definition of the word world, brother? It depends on. But Israel, sea world, right? But Israel shall be saved in the world with the science world. Ye are not ashamed nor confounded world without end. Who's the world? <laughs> I'll read it again. But Israel shall be saved. The context is Israel. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. Ye should not be shamed or confounded Listen, world bro. without end. Who's so the world? Who is the world in that context? Israel. The brother got it right. He said it depends on the context. Israel. Who the world in that okay. context? Can you read Galatians? Read Just read it. And, and then we're going to break it down for you. Oh, Read Galatians. Hold on. Go ahead. Say what? Three what? Twenty-eight. And then let's get him the right. Let's get him the proper understanding of. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna give you the proper understanding. Because this is the this is the book of Galatians, chapter three, verse twenty-eight. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. For ye are all one in Christ Jesus. So read, let's break down that word. Let's break, break down the word. Let's break down the word who is the, who is the Jew and the Greek. Let's see who is the Greek in this context and talk to Look in the concordance. No, we're going to read in the concordance. Because on the surface, it sounds like it's talking about a Greek person. There's no Jew, no Greek. Let's see who is the Greek. Let's look in the let's look in the concordance and see who is the Greek that is in that context. Greek. The word Greek in the Strong's concordance is G sixteen seventy two. Right. The Hebrew word for Greek in this word, right? Greek. Sir, I would, oh, I no, would this, recommend you know, the Hebrew word, word for Greek. No, no, the uh, the Greek, Greek word, the Greek word. Okay. That's what I meant, brother. Go ahead. In this the, context, the Greek word for Greek is Strong's. G sixteen seventy two, mm -hmm. which is Helen. What? Helen. What was it? What was it? What was that? Helen. It's Helen. Right. Wait. Jews Helen. that made the language, Helen. customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. So who is those Greeks we're talking about? Sir, read it again. Jews. <laughs> Jews that made the language, customs, and learning of the Greeks their own. You agree with the concordance? No, Confounded. No, no. so I've, I've been in Galatia. Ain't that what we've been telling you, bro? People don't agree with the Bible. They come with their own leaning on what they think it should say. Sir, I'm not, sir, I'm not look, gonna tell you look, what's brother, happening in Puerto Rico. We're gonna argue with you. you know, we're gonna argue with you, brother. My parents-in-law, they are all from Greece. We're gonna argue with you, brother. We're going deeper than the surface. We're going into the concordance, showing you what that word. Yeah, I know the Hebrew. To understand it. Right. Everybody got everybody gonna bring out something, but it ain't according to the scripture.